Oh no, we don't know you're on the left. Ladders? Oh no, we can't see him. Ah, uh, gotcha! Hey mom, look, I'm flying! Woohoo, I'm Batman. Not today. Wingardian Livio Skate! Oh yeah, border on right side. <laughs> Let's start with weapon loadout. When defending borders, one of the most effective weapons to use is a blunderbuss. This isn't just personal preference, this is due to some characteristics that a blunderbuss has over other weapons. Firstly, this is the only weapon in the game that has the potential to one-hit kill. It has 10 pallets totaling 100 HP, which, if hit registration is in your favor, can cause a quick death. Then we have knockback. This happens when you fire the weapon, it can project the player in the direction it's fired. Even if only a few pallets hit the player, they will still get knocked back. So as you can see, this effect has a great benefit when a player is trying to board the ship. The pistol deals 55 HP a shot. It doesn't create any knockback at all and will not one hit kill. The Eye of Reach being very similar to the pistol in that again has no knockback, no one hit kill and does 70 HP damage per shot. Swords on the other hand can be effective in the hands of the right player. Not to say it's bad for everyone, but sword lunge timings are basically a skill for some players, and with enough practice you can become quite lethal. A basic sword attack deals 25 HP, totaling 75 for a successful 3 hit combo. Though this still isn't enough to stop a border. Of course with 2 or 3 people swinging at the top of the ladders, this will kill anyone. Sword lunging, on the other hand, also creates a knockback effect, while also dealing 60 HP damage. We all have our personal preference when playing Sea of Thieves to allow us to enjoy combat, but when it comes to the fundamentals of playing the game to a higher skill, we must use the best options that the game offers. As I helm myself, a blunderbuss in regards to ship defense and ladder guarding will allow me to stop boarders getting on the ship, thus creating continued opportunity for cannoneers to shoot without interruptions. Now on to positioning and stance. This is key to not only staying alive, but allowing you and your crew to control a player when they get to the top of the ladder. When a boarder climbs a ladder, they are in two positions, looking straight up, of course, being able to look left and right, and secondly, at an angle of which is while on the ladder of a galleon. This means that while the player is on the ladders, regardless of the ship type, they are unable to see the top deck of a ship. This is very important for the defending crew as they can position themselves out of sight from the border once they make their climb. Blindlessly standing over the ladders is one of the worst things you can do. Not only do you have a player on your ladders, but you could also have an extremely skilled player in your hands. This is being able to shoot and kill ladder guarders while you're trying to board. Alongside ladder shooting is grab spamming. This is just dropping and grabbing ladders over and over until you either get to the top of the ladder or bait a player into shooting you then boarding on their reload. The next thing you should worry about is hit registration. Here you want to refrain as much as possible from shooting a player while they are on your ladders. If you're a solo player, this is basically a death wish. As if you miss or your shot gets hit regged, they will just board you on your reload. Brig and galley crews have a much better chance at shooting a player on ladders due to the amount of guns available. But hit rage could even affect all four players regardless. Let's look at the most optimal defend location on a sloop. For defending on either the left or right ladder, you want to maintain the anchor position. Here, a player cannot see you until they are at the top of the ladder. Once the player begins their board, it will put them in the stand-up animation. Learning this stand-up animation is critical because once you learn it, you know the exact point in which you can shoot the player. The boarder cannot pull out their weapon until this animation has completed, so at the end of this animation is when you should shoot them with a blunderbuss. This timing can also help fight against hit rage, as when you shoot during the stand-up animation, you could be playing the good old game of hit rage RNG. On a brigantine, you will want to stand alongside the mast. Here, the boarding player will only be able to see you when they begin the stand-up animation. During this animation, move forward and shoot. Lastly, on a galleon, standing beside the stair railing is one of the best positions. The boarder will once again spot the ladder guarder when they are at the top in the stand-up animation. Of all of these positions on a ship, it's also very important that each crewmate stands to the side of each other. If a player moves in front of you while shooting, it's highly possible your crewmate will absorb the bullets, allowing for the boarder on the ship. 
These positions are vital when stopping boarders. Keeping out of sight during a board is important, but standing too close is detrimental to a successful defend. If a player boards while you're standing too close to the top of the ladder, it is highly likely that the enemy's player model will move inside of yours. If you try to shoot during this process, it is possible for nothing to happen at all. Next up is defending using blunder bombs. These are a key item for not only boarding, but of course defending against them. This item has quite a large knockback and if used incorrectly can hurt your crewmates and can even cause knockback on yourself. Throwing these directly at the player will not only cause knockback, but they can deal 50 HP with a direct hit. Throwing in the area of the player can cause knockback, but deal reduced HP. But here it is the knockback effect that is most important for the defending crew. The last thing to learn when becoming a good ladder guarder is learning audio cues. Hearing someone grab ladders is of course really important if you've never seen the player in the first place. There are two types of boarding audio in Sea of Thieves. First up is a normal board. This sound is essentially something being lifted out of the water. Fingers crossed you have your game at a normal volume as most of the time you'll hear this sound effect. The second piece of audio is of course the silent board. Back in November 2021, as part of patch 2.3.2, Sea of Thieves introduced the fix for silent boarding. Sadly, when the game's patch was released, nothing was actually fixed, so the essence of silent boarding still exists. This sound effect can only be described as you quietly lifting your hand out of water. Over time, you will come more accustomed to these sound effects, and of course, it will enhance your sensory perception while playing the game. That's all for today's video. Now get out there and start skeeting players off those ladders. My name is UK. Thanks for watching.